Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is a video series called Topics. Good evening everyone and welcome to this edition of Topics. Um, with everything going on in the world right now, with the financial situation, um, the pandemic, everything that's been happening, um, you have to imagine that there's a lot of people that are hurting right now. I know we struggled a little um, during the pandemic as well. Um, we both had COVID, we're off work for a little while, uh, hurt us a little bit financially. So I know that people are hurting and depression is an issue right now. So I wanted to talk about what the Bible says about depression to give comfort and strength to those who might still be hurting during these times. Uh, depression is a serious thing. Uh, if you're hurting out there, all of us here on TikTok and all the other Christians, uh, they may not know your story or what you're going through, but we love you and we're here for you. So let's hear what the Bible has to say about depression. First, we're going to take a look at John 16, verse 33. These things I have spoken unto ye, that in me ye might have peace. In the world you have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. So this is a good verse to look at because it does say that you have tribulation, but it also says that Christ has overcome the world. So we put our faith in the one person that has overcome death, and he went through all sorts of tribulations and even died on the cross. So Christ understands your pain. And this is what that verse is trying to say. The next verse is Deuteronomy 31 verse 8. And the Lord, he it, he it is that doth go before thee. He will be with thee. He will not fail thee, neither forsake thee, fear not, neither be dismayed. So this is encouraging you that God came before you. He knows the plans because he was there. So again, this is the theme of trusting in the Lord with all your heart. So we're going to take a look at Psalm 3, verse 3. But thou, o Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter of mine head. So this verse was written by King David. Um... David went through a lot of trials and tribulations and most likely depression. Um, so what he's saying here is that God lifts his head up in times of need and God can do the same thing for us. Next verse is Philippians 4 verse 13. Now this is a common verse, but it is very, very useful. I can do all things through Christ with strength in its me. So again, trust Christ, because if you use Christ in the Holy Spirit, you can do all things and even battle depression. Next, we're going to read Matthew eleven twenty-eight 28 through 30. This is red letters, which means this is words that came directly from Jesus. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest upon your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. So whatever you're going through, whatever pains or struggles or any kind of sadness you may have in your life, lay it at the feet of Jesus, because he will help you. Jesus will give you rest and peace if you just trust in his word. Next is 1 Peter 5, verse 7. Cast all your cares upon him, for he careth for you. It's as simple as that. God cares for all his children, including you. And if you're listening to this now, know that you are loved by the all-powerful living God. 
Now we're going back to Psalms 118, verse 6. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? So if you're being hurt by other people, or if you're being oppressed by someone, God is in your corner. And no man is more powerful than God. So what can they do to you? Nothing. Because God is your strength. So rest in the strength of the Lord, and he will carry you through. And now the final verse comes from Romans 15, verse 13. Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace, and believing that ye may be abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. So rely on God and take the Holy Spirit as your own. Let the Holy Spirit fill you with peace and guide you and let you know that you are not alone. You have all of us here, all your Christian brethren. There's churches available in your local areas that will help you. If you're hurting, and you're feeling depressed, know that there is hope. Thank you for listening to this edition of Topics. God bless you all, and God be with you.